All right, y'all, we're headed down to the lake. We're gonna do some uh, fishing for catfish with bluegill, mainly flathead fishing. Flathead catfishing? Anyway, you got it. Fishing for flatheads. And my trusty rod holder, right where I left it. All right, y'all, I came out here Friday night to try a new flathead rig um, for rocky areas like this. I've been here about a year now kind of breezy hopefully this is coming out all right I've been here about a year now and uh, this shoreline has become one of my main struggles I'm losing gear losing fish losing weights I mean look at it this is the way it is all the way down this is actually pretty light because the lake is like 14 feet high right now But I was out here uh, last June, and this spot, just this little spot right here, had uh, some good sized flatheads, which uh, I almost had an epic day, one of my best days, but it turned into an epic failure. You guys, I have a video on it if you want to see me fail, I'll put a card up there. But anyway, yeah, the uh, flathead rig. Uh, While well, I'm getting set up, you guys watch what happened uh, Friday night. Get that. No problem. Perfect ah. work. Break away rock. <laughs> that most of y'all probably don't fish highland lakes so you don't have the same issue that I do um, so we're just gonna get right to the fishing but for those who are interested I'm gonna put a short little video after this one so you can see how I tie the rig whatnot so uh, anyway let's get down there Sorry about that y'all, battery died, but 
We are going the wrong direction. <laughs> this guy is so tiny. Ugh. That was my biggest bait, you little punk. Bite me. <laughs> oh, come out. There we go. <laughs> it's a little bitty thing. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> it's the baby. Baby flathead. Still pretty. Nice colors on it. Take a picture of you, bud, and put you back in. So you can grow up. Well, Doug Conley told me to uh, try cut bluegill heads, but <laughs> I cut the head off of this little thing. There won't be anything left to eat. Anyway, something had a hold of him. He's dead. So I'm just gonna put a few slices in him. Get a little scent in the water and throw him back out there. A place to cut. I think this is called the flapper cut. I don't really know what you call it. But what you do is you cut the sides, make like a little flap, and then I'm just going to hook him through the eyeballs. Alright Dale, there's your flapper cut. <laughs> it's not really your flapper cut. You suggested heads, but it's too little for a head, so this is flapper cut. Another little one. There you go. I'm gonna put him back. I'm gonna let him keep the bluegill. <laughs> Since he's been such a good sport. Alright buddy. Alright girl camfish, this is for you. <laughs> y'all, if y'all haven't seen girl canfish, she's a uh, YouTuber or better than Instagram. And she uh, started following me on Instagram and so I decided to check out her profile. She has a YouTube channel. She is so hilarious man. Every time I watch her video, I'm rolling. Ugh. Girl can fish. She's like new to fishing, but she's got a great attitude. And she's sharp as a fillet knife. I see water in that jug. <laughs> oh man, you got a big one. Bigger than what I caught. Yeah, there was one I caught. I was like, oh, he's got to go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. This is 
is like what I've been catching. That's pretty decent size. I mean, oh no, that's small. It's small. Yeah. It's like. But that one probably was small, the one I put there. That's a good one. Ah. <laughs> and another one I just took that flunked out of water. I wonder if that's what it was. What do you mean? Oh, you it, caught it, it? Was, it was on a bluegill, it was uh, some meno. Oh. But pretty big size. I put it back. Oh, ow. It was like this size? No, it was small. What are you going on next, buddy? Oh! Oh, he <laughs> expressed his opinion <laughs> about that proposition. Otherwise, you don't hook them. They're starting. They're going. I'll go start on Bigger. Bigger than the little one. <clears throat> I was gonna make spaghetti, but we can have catfish. <laughs> and a little bigger. All right, back he goes. That's what he thought about that. <laughs> it was pretty good. I wouldn't call it big, but it was good. I didn't even know he was on there. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize this guy was on there. I was just pulling in my line to check it. Go in. Yeah, look. Gotta be like a whole school of them down there. Get 
fish line. That's not bad. They get the hook out of him. <laughs> Move. Go. And there's just got to be a school of them down there. I was here last uh, June. End of June. And they were just... Of course they were a lot bigger but they were just everywhere gotta start somewhere huh he's got like a little leech or something on him not sure what that is all right buddy Well, yeah, it looks like we got some weather coming in. I'm going to try to fish as long as I can, but... I don't do lightning. <laughs> I'll do rain. But not lightning. If I can get your back set. Besides that, it looks like I'm about out of memory anyway. It's been a good trip. Oh y'all, I had to come back down here. I forgot, uh, subscriber Gabriel Moreno wanted to know what rigs I use. Not bad. And, uh, I forgot to ask him if he meant, like, take that and go. I got my camera, thank you. I forgot to ask him if he meant rod and reel or, like, rig, like, you know, rig rig. But, uh, out here, I will definitely be using that rock rig which I showed earlier in the video. If it's a not such a moonscape, more of a mud bottom, I'll be using a Carolina rig uh, with the weight depending on the current and whatnot. Usually uh, two ounce if there's really not any current, and then up from there. But as far as my rod and reel rigs, these are the three uh, fishing poles I'll be using pretty much all year. Uh, Runkle was supposed to send me a reel, but they haven't, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But at this point in time, these are the three I'll be using for the rest of the year. Uh, this is the uh, Pisces Fun Venom 5000. I had it for about a year and a half now. It's a pretty good reel. It was my favorite until I got taken over here recently. Uh, on it, I have 50 pound 
a Pisces Foam braid in green, as you can see. And then I got that on the seven foot Muddy River Catfishing Flathead Rod, which he came out with, I think, last year. Um, maybe it's been longer. I think I've had these two together for quite a while, so. Uh, this is the other one I used today. It's also a uh, Pisces Foam Honor. They send me reels to test out, so I do test them. Hardcore. Uh, this one is a 6,000. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I like the Venom better. This one has a uh, oversized cap on it, uh, which reduces the uh, distance. The bigger the cap, the less distance you're going to get. But also the bigger the cap, the more line you can get on. So it's a, uh, you know, back and forth. On it I got 30 pound uh, Big Game. Berkeley Big Game. And on it I have the uh, Shakespeare Ugly Stick Ugly Stick Ugly Sticks? Ugly Stick GX2 7 footer. I do like that rod. Pretty good rod. I'm just there's just like no comfortable spot on this rock. And this is my all time new favorite. It is the Abu Garcia Catfish Special C6500. I've absolutely fallen in love with this whole setup. It's on the uh, Whisker Seeker. I was about to say Whisker Sticks. I always get those two confused. <laughs> whisker Seeker 7.6 uh, medium heavy. Freaking love this combo now. Uh, on it I also have the 30 pound big game. I didn't use it in this video because as you can see I hadn't figured out the rod yet, so I have no line left. I just pulled this too, so. Anyway, so those are my three favorite rods and reels and my two rigs that I use, Mr. Gabriel. So hopefully that answers your question. Alright y'all, tight lines everyone. Till next time. I'm out. I gotta go edit.